Um, today I wanted to show you some recent purchases that I made. I went to a uh, city. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, and uh, I thought I'd share them with you and let you all know what I think or what I got. So, I'll get started. First, I want to share this with you. If you want me to do a review and a tutorial on it, let me uh, let me know and I'll do one. But I found out online when I got on YouTube, there is a dupe for the Too Faced Natural Eye sh Shadow Palette. And Rue 21 sells them, and I couldn't believe it. And it was only, what was it, $6.99. Like a knockoff for the um, Too Faced Palette for the Natural Eye. And here it is. I paid $6.99 for this. I haven't used it yet. And it even comes out with or there's a drawer that comes out with it. I can get it out. And it's got two brushes and two sponge applicators. Really cute. I'm so excited. So I have one like everybody else except it's not the real thing and I didn't blow a bunch of money on it. So if you guys want to see a review on this after I try it, maybe a tutorial, let me know and I will do it. I don't know if that's a lot of something you might be interested in, but I got this at Rue 21. I think also Gordman's sell it too. I'm not for sure, but um, I went to Rue 21 and got this. And they had a real nice, a lot of nice stuff there. Like I saw these. I'm into pearls and lace, and a lot of you might know that from you know in previous of my videos. I'd call my channel pearls and lace, and then it got confusing for people, so I quit doing that. But um, I love pearls and lace, and there is like these necklaces that were pearls, and then they had like. Um, lace or crocheted flower on the side just darling and um, I'm hoping next time I go to be able to get some of that but I just didn't feel right about you know buying more jewelry and I don't even have room for what I got so I'm like you know what another time another day but I got this there it's a close up of it and there's the directions right here it's so cute. I'm so excited. And I didn't blow 40, 50 bucks on it. It's awesome. Next, I also, before I went to shopping yesterday, um, I also I talked about Centinis and about how I wanted some and how I was going to buy some. And they finally came. This is the um, Plum Twist. And here it is right here. Basically, what you do is you shake it up and then you spray it on. And it smells really, really fruity with a zing to it. There's the back, it says Santini. But it's really cute. And I paid nine something for each of these. So I spent about 20 bucks for two. And this is the box that came in. Really cute. And from what the Avon lady told me, these have been selling like hotcakes. Like they've been going like crazy. And then here's the other one. This one, I'm not as crazy about it like I am the, um, the plump twist. I really like the plump twist, and I think I like it better than this. I've actually used that one twice. I haven't used this one yet. It smells good, but this is the Rose Fizz, I believe. Yeah, Rose Fizz. And there's the box for that. But yeah, there, it's it's like separated right now, and then you shake it up. It's kind. Of, it reminds me of those um, beauty beauty rushes, the Victoria's Secret. Except these are a lot smaller, but they're really cute. And uh, they also had an orange one, but I didn't get that because I have this um, orange mango body mist, and I hardly ever use that. And I have a. Um, Rebel Rose I use once in a while, and that's a rose scent, so I, that's why I got the rose scent instead, because I do actually do use that one. So I got these two from Avon. And uh, my perfume collection has gotten so big. In fact, my tray is like full now. Like, there's no, I might have room for one small one, but for, 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 ugh, I can't talk. For perfumes, I believe I'm done. I, there's like this one knockoff for Coach I would like. It's called Touch. I would like that, but I'm done. Unless I run out and I use everything up. So, back to the city that I went to yesterday. 
I live in a small town, so I, if I'm going to get anything really nice, I have to go to the city. So, we also went, my sister-in-law, we also went to um, another, we went to the, um, we went to Marisa's. She had to exchange some stuff. Marisa's is too expensive. They had a body mitt spray there that smelled really amazing, but it was like $15 for, I think, one ounce or half an ounce or something, but it was just too much, even though it smelled incredible. And for the price of that, I got three perfumes at this one place called Dots. And this is by Dots, and it's called Girlfriend. It comes with this cute little shoe charm. And I'm wearing it right now. And it's so sweet. It's like a really free, sweet smell with a hint of floral. I love it. In fact, it should be in the box that's in it. And there's the box right here. It says called Girlfriend. This scent celebrates the social woman, the gentle blend of vanilla and jasmine. I was wrong, but it smells sweet. That's probably why I thought it was sweet because of the vanilla. Will capture her love of friendship. And I'm wearing it right now, and I'm nuts about it. One thing, though, I noticed this one and another one I got from Dots. I was in the car and we were traveling and I decided to open them up. I'm so glad I did because they were actually leaking. Um, I didn't lose too much of this, but the other one that I got from Dots, it it went down to here. So I lost quite a bit of it and I like that other one better I'm about to show you. And I have a complaint for it. But this is really cute and it smells really good. But I like this scent better and this is called Sexy by Dots. And this scent, a uh, sweet blend of hint wildflower. It has wildflower in it. And I really like this one. Problem is, I can't spray this stupid thing. It won't spray. And actually, when I... Let's see, I lost quite a bit. Lost quite a bit there. But, um, I used a baby wipe to wipe it off down because, um, it had been leaking quite a bit. And the lettering actually came off some of it. So then I quit wiping it off. It smells so good, but it won't spray. Nothing will come out. It's so aggravating, and the city is like 45 minutes to an hour drive, and I really don't want to go over there, and I already lost some. It leaked in the box. There's the box right here. It smells so good, and I can't spray it. It's ridiculous. And it can't, it comes with a little charm. Heart. I don't know, maybe there's a way to get the um, nozzle to work. If the nozzle will work, I don't care if it's got lettering missing in the front. If I could just get the thing to spray. Maybe you all have any ideas how to get it to work. And um, each of those cost $5. So it's not like I blew a whole bunch of money on it, but still it's aggravating because that's my money. Um, but yeah, it leaked in the box and I'm so glad I decided to get them out and look at them. Ooh, that's strong. So yeah, it leaked in there really bad. So, dots, I am disappointed. That's a bad review for your con the construction of your bottles. But at that same store, I also picked up a knockoff. They actually actually have actually, they actually have perfumes that are the knockoffs for originals too, like like a Dollar General that I normally go to in my town. So we don't have all of them. And there was one there that was a knockoff for the DKNY. I think it's the uh, delicious, and this is called Be Fabulous. And I've worn this quite a bit since I got it yesterday. I think I, no, it was two days ago I went to the, this uh, big city. So yesterday was Sunday. Today's 4th of July. Yeah, I'm spending my 4th of July making videos. But, um, no, the past couple of days I've been busy cleaning and stuff, so I finally decided, you know, I've got the cleaning done, I can make videos. But this smells so good. Oh my goodness, it's like pure heaven in a bottle. So cute. I guess I don't know if they a lot of the impressions smell like the originals, but they do smell good, and I like the way they look like the originals. So whether they smell like them or not, I don't care. They smell good, and the bottles are cute. So, but um, with all these four bottles, my perfume collection is like full. But yeah, if any of you have any idea how to get this stupid thing to work, so I don't have to drive all the way the city again to replace it. I don't even know if they'll replace it because they lost so much and the lettering is missing from it. I have no idea. In fact, um, when I was trying to figure out why it was leaking, this thing actually, um, 
this thing right here, I actually had to glue it back together because I pulled it off by accident. I'm trying to figure out what the heck was going on. But I fixed it. So I also went to Goodwill to pick up my daughter some clothes, and there I saw this cute clutch. And it's got a whole bunch of beading on it, and uh, some more beads for a handle, and it's just so cute. I don't remember how much I paid for I think it was like around a buck or two. And by apartment nine, I think. It says apartment nine on it, but it's really cute. And I really like bags like this. The beading and stuff. It's just cute. And if there's just, you know, basic essentials that I want to throw in it, throw it in the diaper bag, I can. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I feel like a pack mule already. Hauling the diaper bag around that's humongous. And then my daughter in her car seat. So I picked up three bags of this. I have um, I, this one lady sent me a whole bunch of um, shadow samples to try out, and they're in these tiny, tiny baggies. And I am a klutz, so I was so terrified that I would dump some, therefore wasting the product. And it's a review coming up in about a week or two. So I went out and I bought these, and they were a dollar tree, so they were a dollar. And I bought three packs of six. And I have extras left over, which is fine because I'm, you know, if pe more people down the road send me products and baggies like that, I can just throw them in here. And they're really cute, they're see through, and they seal nicely. I got this this past week, I think, last week, um, at our Walmart. No, at our Dollar General. And this is the Cami Secret. I can't talk. Oh my gosh. Cami Secret that you see on TV all the time. And I'm actually wearing one right now. So if you guys want me to do a review on it, I can do that. I think I paid 10 something for it. It's really nice. In fact, I wish I would have had one for that one video for the giveaway and for the vlogs. I don't like my shirts that low. I really don't. But um, it comes in three colors. It comes in the black the beige and the white. So, yeah, if you guys can, if you guys want to review on any of these products, I can do that. Let me know. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to you in the video. Bye.